Hi everyone, it's Dave here, and I thought I would bring you a Pokemon Go Plus unboxing. Yes, it's just arrived. I've got it. Uh, I'm really excited by this product. So an unboxing um, and an attempt at setting it up um, and see, well, see if anything comes up around my house. Obviously, which is where I am. Obviously, there's no poke stops near me, but we'll see if some Pokemon come up on this and if it actually works and how it works syncing with my iPhone 6 Plus. So, let's get straight into this and get this opened up. Okay, so first off, we have got some documentation, Pokemon Go Plus um, in there. I'm not going to get all that out, um, obviously instructions etc in different languages. Uh, we have some more documentation here. Uh, and again, exactly the same thing by the looks of it. Instructions set. Yeah, I think it's the same thing but in different languages again, I think. Um, I'm not going to get lost in that. Who needs instructions, eh? Famous last words. Okay, so that is the box empty. Put that to one side. Um, okay, so we have our strap if you want to wear the Pokemon Go Plus on your wrist. Um, my understanding is you have to take the back, screw the back of the uh, Pokemon, Go Pokemon Go Plus device off and screw it on here. Um, I'm not going to be using that, certainly not to begin with anyway. Um, right, now for the main star of the show. Nicely protected, so first of all we have here a little pull tab. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get this to zoom. There we go. Uh, basically, was that remove and discard before use. Um, but there's a little clip there on the back of it. Now that clip is designed so you can put it on your belt. Belt, for example, or clip it onto a shirt or, you know, clip it onto your clothing, um, etc. But anyway, so let's pull this out. It says That's what it says to do. Okay, so that's pulled out, so that, I would assume, has activated the battery. So, let's get straight into this. I mean, that is the unboxing part of this done. You can see the actual device there. It does look, does look pretty cool, I have to say. Place that down there. We're now going to start my iPhone up. Let's just get that back into the screen so that we can see the Pokemon Go app. Okay, so let's get into this. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, wakey wakey. Okay, well that is uh, booting up there. Let's just have another look around this. It does look quite good, I have to say. And there's that clip again. Now for some reason, this doesn't want to play now. The actual Pokemon Go app. Oh, here we go. Now we're starting to load up. Hopefully this process will be quicker. Now we've got to this screen. Okay. Oh yeah, I was just about to stop the video then, but there we go. We are progressing. Don't trespass, etc. Um, right, so first of all, apologies. I do have a smashed iPhone 6 Plus, which you can probably see here, down in the camera shot, and we get a um, Ratata. Ratata, <laughs> that's just appeared there. This still hasn't loaded properly because the streets, etc., hasn't uh, come in yet. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to get that. It's not really working. Doesn't want to play for some reason. Um, so I'm hoping that this is, uh, as you can see there, this says I'm in the middle of nowhere, literally. But I'm not. The roads or houses around me haven't come in yet. Anyway, so right. So now I've got to find this. How do I find this? My understanding is. Is it in there? No. It's going to be on the settings, isn't it? I would expect. There we go. So go to the settings, Pokemon Go Plus. So let's go that. Available devices. Now my understanding is as soon as I turn this on, it should come up there. So I haven't read the instructions or anything, so bear with me. Okay, so we can see that flashing up. Obviously activating. Let's just hit that available devices. Oh, there we go. So straight in there on the available devices. Let's hit that, see what happens. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, is that paired already? Okay, I don't know whether that's... Oh, no, there we go. Bluetooth pair request, plug I would like to pair your phone. Yes, of course, pair. That just vibrated then. Okay, that's it, paired. Um, so what we've got here, one of... Wow. <laughs> okay. So I've got a Pokemon. That's probably that Rattata already. So hit the green button. So this is for Pokemon. Here we go now. One, two, three. That means it's caught. It's just like the balls rolling. Multicolored means that's been caught. And I suspect that was that um, Rattata. Um, but anyway, so green light for Pokemon. Uh, you've caught. Uh, vibration blinks. Yellow light uh, for Pokemon you haven't caught. So green, caught, yellow means you haven't caught it. Okay, next. Uh, Pokemon Go Plus. After you press the button, you'll see multicolored lights for success. Uh, a red light uh, for any that have run away. Uh, the Pokestops. When you're in range of a Pokestop, the device vibrates uh, and its light blinks blue. Uh, press the button to search the Pokestop for items. Multicolored. Da -da -da -da. So it goes multicolored again. And that is it. That's literally that device paired. Oh, and it's going crazy again. And this is working even though my device is open. So this will be interesting now. I thought, yeah, this is what have we got there. Ah, interesting. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little red dot above its head. And that must be representing this. That is interesting. I'm going to see what happens now when we press this. Right, one, two, three. So it's caught it again. Multicolored. And I was, yeah, it's gone. Bidgey was caught. There you go. That's the other thing is we can see up there the little Pokemon um, Pokemon Go Plus um, up there. So that means that's being used, the device. Now, the great thing I believe this does mean is if I close, certainly close my device. I don't know if it means if I close the app. Um, let's try that. If I close that, yeah, because it's still going. Up the top of there, hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if this is focusing very well, but it says up there, Pokemon Go is using your location. So I've closed the app. It's still running in the background, and it should be connected to this. So if anything comes up now, this should flash and vibrate like you've just seen, um, and I can catch it, or if I'm out and, out and about and pass a uh, Pokestop, I can press it to get all the... Uh, items from the Pokestop itself. So that is pretty awesome because what this will do obviously is save, well do a number of things. One thing it will absolutely do is save battery power which is a, a nightmare on Pokemon Go. Um, the battery power just drains down so unbelievably quickly when you've got Pokemon Go running all the time. So this should fantastically improve that situation. Um, obviously the other thing is its convenience. Um, the fact you can just hit this in your pocket or whatever and just tap this as soon as you feel it um, vibrate um, basically when you're out and about um, yeah anyway so that is it guys for my initial review sorry my initial unboxing um, setting up and you've actually seen um, a couple of let's just actually go into this again bear with me so if I go back into and I look at my journal. Yeah, Pidgey was caught and Rattata um, was caught as well. So they were both caught on this device. So that, I have to say, is awesome. Yeah, I am so far so good, really pleased with that. Obviously, when I actually go out and about and start using it, going past Pokestops, etc., that's uh, another place or area where we will really see the benefits of this little smart device. Anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video, my first look at the Pokemon Go Plus device, something that I am going to be using a lot. This is going to be going with me everywhere. Um, if you did enjoy this video, big thumbs up. Comments, questions, feedback. Let me know what you think of this device, if you've got one, if it's working for you. Um, any criticisms of it, let me know that as well down in that comment section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do so. While you're there, take a look down in the description of this video. You will see links to my other channel, Geeky Bricks, and my other social media. So please take a look at those. And if you like what you see, subscribe. And that just leaves me to say, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.
Cheers. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.